Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me today. Today is release day at Whimsy and one of the items in the release, or actually I'm using several, but the main one is this Magnolia die. It is a super pretty um, die that has several Magnolia flowers and um, as well there is the 6x6 red rubber a chevron stamp that is a part of the new release and I will be using that on this card as well. And so I'm going to start out creating my background and so I am taking a piece of I believe it's the accent opaque white cardstock and I have prepped it with my um, anti-static bag to make sure that no extra powder sticks where it's not supposed to. And then I'm going to ink up my red rubber stamp with my Versamark embossing ink and then I'm just going to take my cardstock and lay that right over that stamp and press down so I can transfer that ink onto my cardstock. And the embossing powder that I'm using is a WOW embossing powder. It is a opal um, powder and so it looks a little bit silvery in the pictures but it is this really pretty um, white opal color and so I'll go ahead and apply that to my entire background and then take my heat tool to go ahead and heat that up. And for this card I'm using a color combination of dark blue, orange, and a little bit of lavender. And so I decided to go ahead and do the background in the pretty color that's Juniper Mist by Katherine Pooler. Um, I bought this probably a year ago and I just don't tend to gravitate towards the darker colors for whatever reason. And so this has been sitting there pretty much unused except for the swatch that I made. And I got it out a couple of weeks ago to do another card and it's just so beautiful. It's a really beautiful, rich color. And um, I really love the way that it looks. And so I went ahead and grabbed that. And I'm just taking my blending brush to blend that color. And I'm leaving a little bit of kind of faded out space and the corners I'm trying to do a little bit of a darker shade of the juniper mist. And then once I'm done ink blending, I'm just taking a towel to wipe off um, the excess ink from the embossed image. And I went ahead and ran the Magnolia die through my die cut machine. I did use a shim. Um, and this is it has some intricate little pieces, so if you can't cut with it, it is more than likely not the die, and just a lot of the dies that have little intricate pieces need a little bit of extra help. So I did add a shim to my embossing sandwich, or my die cutting sandwich, to make sure that this cut well. And um, you can also use wax paper, and there's also a product, I believe, by Sizzix out there that uh, that you can use so that it more easily cuts the die cut. And if I can find that, I will leave it in the description below. But I'm watercoloring these petals and it was just easier for me to leave the paper that I had die cut on my magic mat. And so I know exactly where I need to color. And I am using my Tombow markers and this is a Tombow marker in 985. And I am putting a dark line kind of towards the center where there would be the shadow and then applying water on my um, water brush and blending that out towards the tip of the petal. And I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I did this. I also did color some of the um, smaller flowers in a lavender color. It's really light and probably hard to see um, on the video, but hopefully you can see in the still shots. Um, so I'm just taking the pieces out. I'm not really being picky about um, that they're in the perfect place um, as long as they're there, but I actually did end up losing some pieces at some point. Um, so I do, don't have pieces. It's the smaller pieces that I lost when I ended up put a, putting this together. And I went ahead and took my fine line glue and adhered the main portion of this die or the frame portion of the die. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my fine line glue and I'm adding the glue to the inside kind of well of where the pieces go. And then I am taking the pieces the paper pieces that I have colored and inserting them in the areas that they go with my um, jewel picker. And I do this for all of the pieces on the card. So there are three big magnolias and then two of the kind of like buds. 
And once I'm done inserting all of the flower pieces, I went ahead and added some adhesive to the back of the panel and adhered it to a four and a quarter by five and a half white card base. And I wanted to add a little something to the sentiment. And so I took some silver thread and I'm using a glue dot to just make sure all of those pieces are stuck. Um, it's easier to work with for me, I think, uh, just taking a glue dot and then you can move the thread around to put it in whatever arrangement that you'd like. And then the sentiment that I'm using for this card is Thinking of You, and I've stamped that up with the same Juniper Mist color that is in the background, and that is from a Sympathy stamp set. And I'm just going to adhere that right over that silver thread. And then we'll finish off the card. I added a little bit of um, some drops to the middle of the flowers as well as uh, the surrounding area of the card. And that finishes it off. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, thank you so much as always for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I really hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.